Okay. All right, let's watch this one then. Lancaster, California. 70 miles north of Los Angeles is home to Casa Roma, the oldest restaurant in the city. How's your pizza, guys? Okay. In spite of having absolutely no restaurant experience, Nyla and her son Jeremy bought this failing landmark restaurant with the hope of turning it around. Two and a half years ago, I was in real estate. I was sitting around looking at business opportunities, and I found Casa Roma. I talked my oldest son into getting in with me, and had we had known the restaurant business very well, we probably wouldn't have done it. we got to get this place turned. Uh oh. Me and my mom thought we were buying a restaurant with a bar attached to it. So you guys want to sit in the dining room? Or are you going to go to the bar? Okay. But really, it just was a bar with a restaurant attached to it. <laughs> my bar does all my business. It's like two different countries. Our bar is always packed. And I the see. Restaurant the restaurant side is lacking. In food on a good night, I'm making 175 On a slow night, I'm making $9. $9 on a slow night? Dear God, that's like literally one person or two if you're just buying drinks. Fucking drama. That's bullshit and you know it. We've had almost 20 chefs over the last two and a half years, but I've had Drew for a year and Eric for almost six months. Eric's a huge reason why Casa Roma isn't doing well. Not one table! Not one table's had their food yet! He lacks getting the food out a timely fashion. And his food is very He looks stressed. Bland. It's dry. Oh yeah, those some dry ass noodles. I'm need five chicken breasts. I'm good at this. I'm good at it. Do I make it look fancy? Do I, can I put pine trees and stuff? That's not what I do. I make the food taste good. It's presentable, and it's like shit. That's pretty damn good. Eric and I do not get along in the kitchen because he doesn't produce very well. Are he you sure? To do everything. I need every fucking one of my pants right now. We totally are in dire need of chef. Oh yeah, how, how's the audio by the way, chat? Is it good? Is it too loud? Is it okay? Oh, Let me know if it's okay. It's good? Okay. About this place because it definitely is a nightmare. If I closed down, I don't know what I would do. I raised four boys and uh, ran, ran a home my whole life. Five years ago, I got a divorce. And then I bought this place two and a half years ago, and it kind of took up the, mm. the time. I don't care about getting rich from here. I just... It would be nice to pay my bills, you know, and have some some extra money at the end of the month. You're struggling. You're running a business is hard. Casaroma, since 1950. There he is. is. Nearly 50 years old, and by looking at the sign, it shows. Time to find out what it looks like inside. <laughs> Gordon loves doing things with his hands, huh? He's very he's very expressive. Very, very expressive. Hi. How are you? Oh, hi. And nice to see you all. Nice to meet you. And this is Nyla. I'm Nyla. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. This is my son, Jeremy. Jeremy, how are you, buddy? Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. And she has such a nice smile. Now, this is uh, very cozy. No windows anywhere? No, not no, the bar park. No? We have a restaurant park over there. Dining okay. Over there. In terms of business, I mean, the bar is obviously busy. Um, the bar is always busy. It's a chef busy. sound, oh, yeah. Nice. It's our restaurant. We can't get going. Mm -hmm. To save our lives. What restaurant were you working in before you got here? I wasn't. He wasn't. I work in the grocery store and he works in carpet cleaning. Grocery yeah, that explains a lot. <laughs> carpet cleaning. No experience when they <laughs> boot up this business. No, no, just dirt. I'll oh, just dirt, dirt, and just out of interest. Yeah. With no previous restaurant experience anywhere. Why would you open a restaurant if you've never worked in one? Because we're That's insane. what I'm saying. Okay. So Fair. um, I think it's about time. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, so where's the dining room? Right through right here. Through here. Right through there. Jesus, that carpet's disgusting. I was so excited <laughs> whenever Chef Ramsey walked in the door. It was like, wow, I can't even believe he's here. I thought, well, here we go. He's gonna there see the go. nightmare I'm really living. Oh. Jesus. Oh God, and those chairs are so disgusting. I hate, I hate leather chairs, man. I hate the feeling of leather. What is that? What did he just find? I'm sorry? Crusty bits of lime, lemon. That's disgusting. On my table. Hello. Hello. 
How, how are, are you? you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm uh, Ashley. Ashley, nice to see you, darling. So I'm nice not, to meet you. Just oh, that, that is awful, dude. I think it's back from 1958. Oh, nice. On the side of the back of my chair. Sorry, Excuse okay. me. Excellent. Mm. You see, it's, I feel like a, I mean, I, I know I'm not exactly the smallest, <laughs> but I feel, I feel like I'm just going to... Yeah, they're very go through. It's riggedy. Like, no, it's not. No, it's what not. The, I mean, I'll, I'll fix it in a minute. Um, Casa Roma, fine Italian dining. Dining. Oh. Or is that just an Italian spelling? <laughs> no? Weird. Ew. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I'll start off with the stuffed mushrooms, please. The stuffed mushrooms? Ah. Ooh. The Monte Cristo. I'll go for that as well. Monte Cristo? Yeah, I'm hungry, as you can see. And finally, <laughs> Why her face? I'm dying to taste a piece. She's like, oh no, don't order that. What size would you like? Uh, yeah, let's go for medium. Medium? Yeah. Thank you, my darling. You already got it? Leave this damn fucking thing open. Yeah, I got a big order. Oh my god, somebody has anger issues. Say, well, he's a five star Michelin chef. Okay, so he's got four tires and a spare. Kiss my ass. That means nothing to me. What? The shit on the blind. Damn. Oh my god. Why are you hiding there? <laughs> You're trying to see? Have they brought any food to you? Uh, yes, I found some limes and lemons She's dehydrated cute. down the side of my uh, chair, and bits of uh, tissue left on the uh, table. Do you have a cleaner in here? Yes, we do. Christ Almighty! Is she blind? <laughs> Probably. Hey, you're not doing nothing right now? I'm cleaning up our stuff before Give me, give me a glass of ice water. <laughs> she blind. Ice water? Yeah. Nyla, can I have an ice water, please? Clocked, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's standing right there. Oh, my God. It's, um, zero for zero. Fifteen minutes in. Nothing. Ooh. I'm starving. We got some appetizers coming, right? What? Appetizers coming. It's cooking. Fucking you. Are you sure? Are you sure it's Stop. cooking, buddy? Damn. Oh my god, we dude. We gotta get rid of all these dirty dishes. Our is coming killing me. <laughs> Spend more time cleaning up after his ass to fucking make shit. That's better. A proper seat. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> now I'm taking the chair out. I would do the no, same too, honestly. Turning. Why is the kitchen so slow? Somebody wants me, I'm out back. back. Oh, I was gonna say he's gonna smoke in the kitchen? Holy shit. I was gonna oh, I was gonna oh, lose man. it right so, there. Hey, things are looking uh ooh, la la. Okay. That that gave me a jump scare, not gonna lie. Hi Rumika, welcome in. Mm. Hi Tony. That's flavor. Oh dear god. Five minutes. Appetizers there? Nope. Hey, what about appetizers? We're all cooking. Oh, you want to start on those pizzas then? Relax, take a chill. I might as well keep fit, do something, can't I? No. Go for a job, got a marathon coming up. <laughs> Nothing wrong with working oh. off for lunch when you get it. True. Do you have anything on that last order ready? Or What's close? that? Any, anything on that last order ready or close? No, we'll put everything up at one time. We're just all waiting right. for the sandwich or the pizza. You if want, you got one thing you close, start late? If, yeah, if you got one thing close, lay it out. Okay. Well, the fuck you want to do that? But okay. Wait. They want to serve it when it's not even finished. Why would he do that? I would rather have my food late and finished than than it than it coming than it come in, uh early and unfinished. What? Oh, geez. Okay, great. Ooh, I was nodding off then. Huh? I was nodding off. An hour later. <laughs> Thank you, Madonna. And that's stuff with crab. Right. Lovely. Okay. Thank you, Madonna. You're welcome. That does not look appetizing. Fried mushrooms. Ooh. Jesus. Soggy. <laughs> oh. Soggy, okay. Not even crab or any form of flavor or texture or anything in there, but what worries me more than anything, they're just full of water. Oh, oh! How is everything? Um, yeah, pretty vile. Um, are they frozen the mushrooms? Um. They Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Yes. Oh! <laughs> Fucker didn't work. I told you. The um. Fuck it didn't work. 
What the heck is that? What what is that thing? Yeah, I know, buddy. Yeah, no shit. I'm not worried about him. Let's see what he's got. If he wants to bitch and moan, that's his drama. Okay. Here's oh my. The deluxe, and then here's your Monte Crisco. Thank you. Is that powdered sugar? Yes. On the sandwich? Yes. With fries? Yes. Is that popular? No. Jesus. It's actually dripping. Fat. Oh, the noise! The noise! When Chef Ramsay squeezed the Monte Crisco and all that oil came out, that really disgusted me. That was very disgusting. Pizza. Maybe the best. Yeah, Fast. it does. Oh, that is undone. Oh my god. Unfortunately, the dough is raw, so yep. thick, it's like wallpaper paste, raw. Oh Brother. And that's why, clearly, there's nobody in the restaurant, because the only people that can eat this kind of shit are the ones in the bar. Drunk. Yeah, it's drunk food. After a long wait in I'll eat anything. Restaurant for some horrible food. Gordon gathers the staff. So you're the sous chef, and you're the head chef. Yeah. To discuss the nightmare that is Casa Roma. Lunch. Absolutely embarrassing. Yep. The fried sandwich. Uh, what planet are you on when you put that shit together? <laughs> Casa Roma celebrates its 50th year this year. Yeah, I mean, what a fucking embarrassment. Eric, you knew I was coming for lunch today. I didn't know when you're, who's you were. I said, which one is this? They come, they wouldn't tell me. Ashley. You never asked which one. And it shouldn't matter if it was him or her it doesn't or whoever. Matter. I came here today, yeah, to taste your best, like any chef would do when they go into each other's restaurants, yeah? I'm not here to fucking catch you off guard, so cut the limp dick excuses and give me some fucking respect for the restaurant alone. It was a bad fucking day, pal. Now you're bad pushing day. it. Enough. I get it, we understand. A bad day? Yeah, shit happens. You never had a bad day. I do have bad days all the time. Well, obviously, you have one today. Just relax, take a chill pill, reload, and do it again. What the big problem is with you, Eric, you've accepted it. In your opinion only. What? What part of that don't you freaking understand? What do you mean, freaking understand? Yeah, what part of that don't you understand? In your opinion only. I haven't accepted it. Yeah, and I fuck up stuff. Yeah, I fuck up. So I try and reload and redo it. There's nothing edible. Out of the way. Why are you walking away, Eric? Uh, so I don't fucking rip your head off. Appalled by oh. the food, Chef Ramsay's little chat with head chef Eric didn't exactly go over well. Lunch. Oh. Absolutely embarrassing. What planet are you on when you put that shit together? Why are you walking away, Eric? So I don't fucking hey. rip your head off. Did you hear that? In awe when Eric talked to Chef Ramsay like that. He's coming here to help us out. Don't be rude to him. You got two minutes? Two minutes? I've got a week. I'm not going to give you no excuses at all. All right? Long days. Haven't been feeling 100%, but I'm here anyway. You do what you got to do. You work, try to get these people better. Let me reload and see what we can do again. OK. OK. I think we, we got fucking okay. caught flat footed, but I got to reload one time. I won't get caught flat footed again. Bet your ass on that. Yeah. Right. Will he do better though? That is the question. S A N. Sicilian what? That's right. That isn't even how you spell Sicilian. Does anybody know how to spell it? Or am I Sicilian? Sicilian's from Sicily. Really? Because S I C I L Y, I don't think there'd be a Y. No, it's I L I N. Sicilian. There we go. Thank God you guys saw that. <laughs> Sicilian. Uh, do you work here or are you just bypassing? Come around so we can say hello. Oh, not him calling him out. This is Jimmy. Jimmy. And what do you do? Um, I'm the son of the owner. And so what do you do? A little bit of everything. Uh -huh. Just try and help out. So 
What's, what's that in there? Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. Nice. A lot of vodka. Vodka and cranberry yes. juice. Yes. Mm -hmm. I see oh. you drink and work at the same time. No, I don't work. Oh, you're not working. No, I don't, no, here no. To work. Okay, no, right. no, no, no. So, what do you do then outside of here? What's your job? What's your oh, career? I do construction. Construction. Operate heavy machinery. Okay, so no one's okay. got any cooking or restaurant experience. No, no. Ah. Not at all. <laughs> Excellent. So what, what is he? I'm sorry, but what is he doing here then? <laughs> what the? <fuck? laughs> he just, he's just here to enjoy the show, <laughs> to enjoy the. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just here drinking my cranberry juice with vodka. <laughs> I don't do anything. I'm just, I'm just the the owner's son. <laughs> You're just here for the free drinks, yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? Get chair here and I'll put you one on the end. I'm gonna have the chicken parmesan. He's gonna have the chicken nuggets and fries. Okay, I got calamari to start and then kids chicken nuggets and with fries. Excuse me? Do you have any questions about the order? Yes, we got it. This is so funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like him. He's just, he's just some guy. Eric, you want me to saute, man? Just watching this family. Do you want me to saute? Eric and I do not get along in the kitchen because we don't really communicate very well. Do you prefer working on your own? Mm, just sometimes, yeah. I can tell. Why is that? She's not saying anything. Just, just doing what I gotta do. Yeah. No oh, communication. Dear. Gotta work on that, buddy. You're welcome. Uh, let's see how the customers like the food. Oh. Is it cooked? You think? No. Oh. This sausage is not cooked. Eric, this sausage isn't done. I ain't got time for this. It looks like it's frozen. I'm sorry about that, guys. Working here is life for us. It's what pays our bills. And to know that the cook is keeping us from making money, it's hard on us. What was wrong with the calamari? Uh, what happened to the calamari that just came back? They said that it tastes like it was frozen. But is this normal? Yes. Well, you know, what can you do? Drew, I need one, two, three, four, five Ooh. chicken breasts, Drew. Eric doesn't ever really push to get it done. He just keeps telling me, oh, it's OK, I got it. Everything's gonna be fine, but it's not. Did you get the lasagna, Drew, or no? Lasagna. Yeah, I'm the only one that fucking works here. Oh. It's an hour into dinner service, and was that was that from Eric or sent back to the kitchen? Drew. Yeah, definitely go back. And only one table has received its entree. <laughs> Me too, buddy. That's probably the worst shrimp scampi that I've ever had in my entire life. Let me oh. take it back to the chef and explain it to him. Thank you. Very Thank you. I appreciate it. They better not fuck up the lasagna. Oh, you bet they're gonna fuck up the okay, lasagna. Guys, listen, worst shrimp scampi they ever had, and they said no flavor at all. Oh, you know what can you do? I need some water. You know it's a bad restaurant when it was when it has the piss stain wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. Shrimps. You never taste it. You know what can you do? It's such an ugly color. I've never seen two cooks so far apart from each other up until now. I For a restaurant. Person, try not to get angry at people. You know, everybody says I'm a motherfucker anyway. So why should I perpetuate the problem that's not necessary? But you need help. If you don't get help, we're going to be in the shit in the next 10, 15 minutes, no? Is it really 8.30 already? It's true. We're yeah. here for two hours, man. I'll leave. Oh, is this normal? What? That's diabolical. Waiting two hours for food? I would have, I would have gone and not been left. The amount of patience they gonna wait for, 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 for that long for food? No way! I would have left. This what? It's incredible. Right through those doors has to be for me one of the worst restaurants I've ever seen in my entire cooking career. The chef doesn't give a fuck. The owner's completely clueless, and not any form of communication between the kitchen, the restaurant, and the management. It's a fucking shambles. Yep, sounds about right. I would've gotten 35 minutes. And no communication, not even like, hey, you know, your food is taking a little bit longer than, you know, expected. I don't think there's any of that. No, no reassurance. No, no, actually. I'm still waiting on chicken piccata with panne marinara and individual kids pepperoni pizza, half order spaghetti with meat sauce, eggplant parmesan with angel and meat, Chicken piccata, angel with marinara, three chicken parms, and a veal parmesan. Damn, or that's... just one table. 
I felt like crying because it was that embarrassing for me. Eric, they handle yes, that? Yeah, can can I they handle undivided that? Undivided attention. Sure. Nothing's happening. We've served one table of four, one table of two. For the last three tickets, half the order's gone out, half is still on the board. You haven't got a clue what's going on. You're running around crazy. What chance have we got serving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables? You asked for one more cracker at lunchtime. Let me go, big boy. Let me go. I want to do it again. We're spinning around and serving shit. Do me a favor. Close the fucking restaurant. I can't stand any longer and watch that embarrassment. That is so embarrassing. Now, we're not going to be serving any more dinners tonight. I need the door fucking closed. Forget it. All right. We're done for the night. Oh, God. What this a, a joke, mess. Guys. You're pissed off. You're frustrated. Forget it. Good night. That is so what embarrassing. Stops their business and tells everybody that they have to leave. There's no excuse. At a point in the service when more food was being returned than sent out, I need the door fucking closed. Gordon shut down the restaurant. As of now, we're not going to be serving any more dinners tonight. And confronted the chefs about the problems in the kitchen. This is a joke, guys. You're pissed off. You're frustrated. Forget it. Good night. It's now time for the cold hard facts with owner Nyla. I don't even know where to start with a chef that can't even cook something basic. Why are you employing a chef that's that incompetent? Darling, he's not in the slightest bit interested in fucking making it work. Doesn't give a fuck about his cooking. Doesn't give a fuck about you. And he's here for one thing and one thing only. Hey, money. Jay. And the only restaurant that fucking guy will ever get a job is in a restaurant that doesn't have any customers. Have you got any chance mm. of surviving here? Get rid of him. What are you scared of? Talk Nothing. to me. There's well, got to be something. Where am I going to? Well, I need to find another chef. So, Drew, what's wrong with Drew? Drew, I think, can carry it off. So, get rid of it. OK. Let's go. Fuck Can't you do it, though? I'm fucking believable. Hi, Rain. Hi, Pop Stan. Hey. I'm sorry. I know. But... No, you no, don't no, know. No, no, no. I feel bad. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Jeremy, come I here. Feel I feel real bad. The whole thing is this. This isn't the first time you've let us down. I, don't know I just can't doing. do it. I know, but I can't do it. Eric, I gotta make. You guys get your paycheck every week. Jeremy and I never take a dime out we of here. What? I know, but I mean, the whole thing's just not gonna work because you. Okay, you, so what do you wanna do? I, I we're gonna part ways. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Damn it. I got fucked on that deal. Okay. You couldn't pull off lunch, couldn't pull off dinner, and so we just had to let him go. I can't, you know, I yeah. can't do this. Bye, chef have a good Eric one. Gone. Gordon is hoping sous chef Drew can rise to the occasion. That was a tough one tonight. Oh, very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, so very nice. tough. Don't get down in the dumps. Tonight was shit. Very much. Clearly, so. at its best. But you don't need me telling you that because that was embarrassing. Very much. Yeah, is that how you run it? Hell no. Good. Tomorrow we go again, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I need you. Oh, All right. Yes. Thank you. Good night. Good night. New chef. New head chef. Yeah, Eric's not in our kitchen anymore because maybe it'll give me an opportunity to step up and do something. Okay, Drew, come on. That I believe in you. Not only a bad morning, but a bad evening. For every plate we put out <laughs> the there. The sun. The sun is sending me. <laughs> Brother. Brother's just there to enjoy the drama. <laughs> He's literally doing nothing. He's just there. Not only a bad morning. He's, a bad He's literally us in Twitch chat right now. He's literally us. Evening. For every plate we put out there this evening, we were losing what little reputation we had left to salvage this place. What chance would we have of getting all those tickets out? There was no chance. To put it bluntly, that chef. Possibly the worst chef in America today. The quicker you put a man like that out of his misery, it's the biggest favor you've done for him and the restaurant. Okay, tomorrow's a new day. I've got Drew. That's what I've got left to work with. What's his strength? Uh, I would say pizzas. Calzones. Um, his lasagna is awesome. Right. Drew is the only saving grace <laughs> I've got there. I've got to work with him tomorrow. I've got to be by his side tomorrow and start from scratch. Okay? Good night. Thank you. Good night. I think Sleep Drew on. will step up, and I think if he gets some confidence behind him, I think he can do it. Let's go, Drew!
Guys, we, we, we believe in Drew, right? He's gonna make it right, right? The last 24 hours were one of the toughest Detail. days I've ever spent in a restaurant. Last night, we did get rid of the chef, which was a positive move. Now, I need Drew to step up to the mark. Jeremy to support Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. The place properly, with no interference. Jesus. Christ almighty, where do you start in a place like this? Oh. 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 Roast beef. Dating back when? Now, what is that there? Just me defrosting. Again, no sign of what it is. Fresh Palma ham is caked in. Yeah, water. these are not a single fresh this thing in here. <laughs> what? Why? Why you gotta slap that meat like that? It's that rancid. That's how I slap my meat. Whoa, fucking hell. That's just over three months old. Jesus Christ almighty. Oh, oh God. Tony <laughs> <laughs> Kenna. <you can't. laughs> what? What did I say? Wait, is he actually gonna puke? One of the worst kitchen walk-ins he has ever seen. Gordon Blech. moves on to an area outside the And a kitchen. single the fresh thing in there. The bathroom. One of the best ways to check the hygiene of any restaurant is always through his bathrooms. Oh Turn no. Off. Turn the lights off. Right. Oh! This bing boom! Bing boom, bing boom bandit, thank you for the uh, one month. Or so sorry, the tier one three months. I appreciate it. Welcome. Hi. Thank you, thank you. Oh my good god. Oh Green my yellow. good god. Identifies bodily fluids. Any form of bleach or any form of cleaning will be identified through the colour blue, but the bodily fluids on here is extraordinary. Ah. Uh, Look, as high as the ceiling. Oh, what the fuck? How? Even the ceiling's caked in it. Oh my god. This is shocking. Wash your hands. Yeah. Honestly, I've seen enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ew. Disappointed by the state of the restaurant, Gordon is concerned about the family's commitment to its own restaurant. Right. Got in early this morning. Second new day, and I'm somewhat... Not just confused, but disappointed, yeah? Come with me. Let me show you something. Mm -hmm. All right, show it to them. How old is that? Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh, come on, guys. How old is this? Oh, hold it and smell it. Touch it. Sticky. Ugh. Let's come outside. The walk-in is just rubbish, really. It looks like shit. It's horrible. It's old. Probably about as old as Eric. <laughs> this is the killer for me. Pass it round. It's three months old. And then, look, only in California. What in the fuck is that? It made me sick. I hated to see it. We talk about cleaning out the refrigerator, making sure Ugh. things are clean all the time. And to my surprise, they aren't. Nyla, the state of that fridge in there confirms whoever's running this place in terms of kitchen management has given up. They don't give a fuck about you and they don't give a fuck about standards. I went into the bathrooms and that's where it got worse. I need two minutes with you. Uh, you start taking that out, yeah? Um, hey, get a bin and get every ounce of dirt out of there. Having a dirty refrigeration unit is one thing. Having a filthy bathroom is something that fucking scares the hell out of me. This thing here detects body fluids. Just have a look at this. That's body fluids up there? That there has got nothing how? to do How? Dude, how with are these people... Cleaning. How are they, how are these people freaking peeing? What the fuck? How do we get pee on the wall like that? That's look insane. the fucking state of this. Green, 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 green. But here's where it gets really scary. How the hell is it up there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it looks like somebody may have peed on the ceiling, the walls, the doors. 
you know. Dude, is that how drunk people pee? They just they just flop out their dick and just let it go. They just let it fucking let it rip. They don't they don't hold on to it. They don't control it. They don't even aim. They just they just piss everywhere. Is that what drunk people do? We throw up. I can't even imagine. You know, I mean, it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch the door and I'm coming out myself. Bring your son in. Yeah, I'm not going in there. My God. Oh my God. This is insane. Body fluids on the ceiling. What? Uh huh. People are peeing. Up on the ceiling. Well, pretty good Maybe. at that. As Nyla shows her sons the bathrooms, Gordon's inspection continues at the kitchen prep area. What in the fuck is going on here? It just shows that there's no bleach. You know, these walls probably haven't been washed. Oh, your horse. What in the fuck are they? Look at that there. Oh. oh shit. Jimmy, come here. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? what? That's supposed to be his meatballs. Good God. Not edible. Yeah, throw, throw it all out. Those are from Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl yes. Sunday. When was that? What is that? That looks like raviolis. What? Soaking in water. Why? I need to start stepping up, taking the reins, taking. Wait, control. why are they in water like that? Excuse me? And Why do we have raviolis in the in water? My big worry is this is not difficult to spot. You could spend 10 minutes after every night's service behind the bar, walking through the kitchen, and turning this place upside down. And you don't need to be a fucking rocket scientist to understand that this place is in desperate need of support. Before I go any further, I want the fucking place clean. Fuck yeah. Me. Yes, yes, yes. After a full day of cleaning, Gordon realizes that if there is any chance of relaunching this restaurant, he has to turn his attention to Chef Drew. Drew, right now, I want you and I to go and cook some pizzas. And I'd like Jeremy, Nyla, to taste them. I've got a little trick on my sleeve. This Hi, Drew. Come on. Between you and I. Okay, I want to find out if they can actually tell the difference between a frozen pizza to something freshly made. That goes in, okay? Okay. Oh, hey. Fresh, yeah, vibrant, exciting. Let your imagination go. Wild. You think they're gonna be able to tell? Yeah, the ultimate pizza. Okay, yeah. let's go. Who's the chef of this place? I guess I am now. That's right. Hey. While Drew creates his own. Yeah, Drew, you are, baby. Pizza. Gordon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That will be on Casa Roma's new menu. Lovely. Working with Chef Ramsay was like one of the best things ever. Like, oh my God, I just worked with a world class chef. Frozen <laughs> pizza. And yours. Oh, okay, right, that doesn't look bad. Nice. Okay. Wait, is that frozen nice pizza? Pizzas? I'm gonna be looking for a verdict on both of you. I can't tell which one's frozen, or I mean, which I one's like not. This one. mm -hmm. Good. Oh, that's his pizza. Big one as well. Yeah. I'm so glad you chose that one there, yeah? because this one here was frozen. Okay. Cheap shit. I was shocked when Chef Ramsay told me the one pizza was frozen because I thought it tasted a lot like our pizza we had. <laughs> the good news is both you know your pizzas. Now let me get you my pizza. Okay, that's good. So this is a thin crust. I like this too. These two mm -hmm. are the type of pizzas that should be on your menus. We are going to relaunch this restaurant and we are going to show you pizzas. how good these pizzas are. I'm happy. Well done. Very nice. New pizzas on the menu. Okay, that's good. Hell yeah. In order to transform Casa Roma, Gordon and his team needed a full day to turn this broken down Italian restaurant into a contemporary right. pizzeria. Okay. Nice to see you guys. How are we feeling? Uh, nervous. 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 Now, just have a look at the new decor at the outside of the new Casa Roma. Take off your blindfold. Nice. Wow. Nice new oh, colors. Yeah. Oh, that looks so much colors. better. The Italian flag. We've got the most amazing size, Casa Roma Pizzeria. But look at the windows. It felt like we were in prison before. Now it's more inviting. Yay! Yeah, it's a lot interior. better. Let's go. Come through. Come through, come through, come through. Come through. It doesn't look closed up and shady. Oh. I was shocked beyond shocked. That looks like a bright new pizzeria. That's the crazy. We've got a nice new bright pizzeria. Carpets have gone. Oh, 
Yeah, no more of those disgusting ass leather <laughs> chairs. Those leather seats, man. A lot better, way better. Now their 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 reactions are cute now. Wow. We were trying to be fine dining, and then we had the Italian bar, bar slash restaurant. Countries. Now it's all blended together, and yeah. one big pizzeria, and everybody can come and have fun now. This place needs to celebrate its 50th year with a comeback. We are going to hold the first annual Casa Roma Pizza Eating Challenge. Yeah. Challenge? Oh, that's yeah. fine. You happy? Yeah. I'm mad. You happy? Yay! In recent Day five. Years, the community's perception of Casa Roma is as a bar with an inferior Italian restaurant attached. All right, how is it gonna hold up? Gordon knows this restaurant now has to reintroduce itself as the new happening pizzeria in town. Oh, so many people! Welcome to the first ever Casa Roma pizza eating challenge. Excellent. It was great to see Hi, Arianne. Welcome in. Supporting us today and actually getting out and being part of the relaunch. Okay, contestants, are we hungry? Yes. 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 Are we are ready? We oh, dude, I can go for some pizza right now. Five minutes on your marks. All right, guys, wait, wait, wait. Let's place, let's place these bets. Who's going to win this pizza eating contest? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to... I'm gonna bet my money on number. You guys are saying three? Really? He looks really happy. Look at that. Look at how happy he is. I think he might be right. Hmm. You saw one, two, five. I'm gonna bet my money on five. A lot of you guys are saying three. Shu sing two, Broly sing one, and nobody's going for four. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, say yes. One over five. Now Jimmy's out. Oh, this is cute. They're having fun. Who ate the most? We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to <gasps> Oh, yes, let's go! The pizza eating contest was definitely a fun Number five, baby! Casa Roma has changed. There's a new look to it, and there's a new menu. Give it up, please. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, Jude. Have a good one. Four hours prior to relaunch, Gordon goes over the new dishes. This is doable, uncomplicated, nothing frozen, and freshly home. Oh, that! Oh, oh, that looks so good. Chicken wings served with a cherry pepper sauce. Stuffed mushrooms, bit of a house speciality. Bruschetta, simple. Look at it. Give me. Yeah? Oh, oh, it's that was on, yeah. Fresh. Okay, good. Get familiar with the food. So good. Of taste. The menu is easier. It's lighter. It's more sufficient. It's it should be great. That's good, huh? That's crazy. Tonight. That's crazy. Honestly, for me, is one of the most important nights in 50 years. We got to make a mark. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Tonight's the night. Tonight is definitely the night. God bless. Yeah. Roma. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Bye, Jaylee. Have a good one. Doing tonight? Thank you, Drew. Yeah, first order on. Most important. Let's go. I want to shine for Chef Ramsay today, and it would be silly not to because I have the best opportunity ever that I've ever had. Come on, come on. I believe in you, Drew. Let's go. So we got our setups for the mushrooms, yep. wings, and garlic knot. So we're ready. Good. Hi guys, yeah. how you doing? Are we ready to? Order? Oh, they're gonna have so many customers. Oh god. Lunch dinner. Drew has Nyla's son Jimmy assisting with calzones and pizzas. Put the dough on and stretch it all the way out till it's even with that. Jimmy had to be back. Jimmy, wait, Jimmy's actually working. <laughs> Jimmy's not a not a Twitch viewer anymore. 
He's just he's not he's not standing there sipping on his cranberry juice with vodka. He's actually working now. Pick Let's face. go. He's never done that before. Try not to make love to it, and you'll make. <laughs> he's never done that before. He's never done anything until now. <laughs> The fact that he's so surprised. It could happen, okay? We're working on the cows. <laughs> Let's go, Jimmy! You're welcome, and I'll be right back with the other <laughs> two. It's not recooked. It's not recooked. Those aren't cooked. So get, get her back here. The whole evening started. Oh, and no. And all of a sudden, food was going out cold. Drew, they complained that these chickens are bloody in the center. They're not even hot. Quick refund. Oh, man, I was rather embarrassed when the chicken came back. I was like, oh, come on. Not. Nah, we're not starting like this, you know? It's okay, it's okay. A little setback. Not try to rush things that take time. Yeah. That is the second time she's brought that back, and that is not her gun. It's her raw. Again? Two times? Wait. Are they cooked? Brother. What? Okay. It was extremely embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. You brought it back because it's raw, and they came back still raw. What? How? As well as I. Fuck me. Same fucking table. There's a second fucking bowl. Look at me. They gotta go in the pan and in the oven. Not even hot in the center. What's going on? Not good enough. Come on. Once oh yeah. Twice is just disgusting. Yeah. No rush. I know. I'm, I'm just trying to tell everybody. You know. That. Just keep working. I don't know what the hell that thing is. I mean, this is your first <laughs> attempt at a calzone ever, and it's the worst one. Drew's <laughs> reactions are so funny. Seen, but it's cooked. It was just the size of the fucking thing. Is that for two? It's a large. The calzone was huge. You could probably feed about five people with it. Jimmy. Yes. The calzones, yeah, are huge, yeah. Yeah, be careful of the size. Oh, look at all the cheese. <laughs> I thought I had a large. You should have just got one of those and you'd feed the station. I but I think it's huge. Yeah. Cut down the size of the car zone. Yeah. That can fill an entire football end zone. Look at the size of it. Yeah. I want them coming back for more. Yeah. The other ones are better. <laughs> Jesus hey, more food Christ. for them. I need some form of quality control, guys. Yeah. It's like a loaf of fucking bread in there. Most important thing here is fucking standard. You slow down. Huh? Why is this food, why is this free censored? Attention to detail, yeah? Hmm, probably doesn't work there anymore. Has this pizza been started yet? just got up there in the you window. Want, you want to go ahead and take that order and start looking at it? It's coming because he fucked up and he had to make another one. It's a calzone. He's getting beat yeah. up over here. Take a deep breath. Stop pushing me and just chill. Okay. You're making me hurry shit up. I can't okay. have anything to fucking do with. Go for it. Hmm. Ah. Uh oh. Drew now is starting to feel the pressure and it's showing. Stress is building up. He's fighting with the owners, fighting with the chefs, and he's not careful. This place is going to start sinking. What a way to celebrate 50 years. No. Oh, not take that. With orders in the kitchen backed up. Don't tell me, change Okay, sorry. Customers have a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> you got it. Bro, Bro just has a Rubik's Cube laying around. What the fuck? What? Where did that come from? <laughs> I like this rag right here right now, you know? We gotta pull it together. Okay, I need a large deluxe calzone and a small deluxe calzone. The mushroom calzone's fire. I got the calzone up. The calzone's in, right? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. In a dramatic turnaround, head chef Drew has finally taken Gordon's advice <laughs> by so taking funny. complete control of the kitchen. This is your mushroom calzone. And orders are moving out to the customers promptly. Drew is doing a great job. He stepped up to the plate. I'm real proud of him. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, Drew. This one goes All right. You're right locked in. Drew locked in. Hell yeah. I think the new menu is a huge success because it's just easier. Bye, guys. It was so good. Yes, I know, and we're taking it home. Let's go. Let's go. Thank God. Good job. <laughs> Okay, good. Oh. Well done. And Gordon smiled too. After a most impressive turnaround, Gordon has some final words for the staff. I know I put a fork and a spoon on the wall, yeah? But you didn't have to make the fucking calzoni to match it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. What was that for a ten top? Yeah. Cut them down. We're here to make money, not give it away. Yeah. <laughs> good. Now you've tasted it. Make it work. We will. Oh, yeah. We're gonna keep you know, each other motivated on this. Hi, Prince. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. New chef, 
new look. If we couldn't make this restaurant work, we'd definitely be idiots. Trust me, if everyone does their bit, three months down the line... Oh, damn, wait, see. how come? Damn. Did you, did, did you see Gordon's... Gordon's arm? Wait, that's kind of attractive. Oh my god, okay. For you, for you, vain enjoyers. <laughs> if everyone does their bit, three months down the line, this place is going to be rocking. My yeah, he has a nice set of arms. He saw that it's a dream of mine. I just want to, I want to make it live. What a week. When I first arrived, that had to be the worst ever Italian restaurant going. Then we made some drastic changes, promoted the chef, reinvigorated the owners, Let's and turned go. this place into a really nice, classy pizzeria. Only hope now, Lancaster embraces it. But one thing's for sure, that has to be the biggest fucking calzone I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Holy mackerel. Yay, that's a W.